Hey everyone, let's talk about the iPhone voicemail and some things which could be going on with it. Like a lot of people have had some problems and questions and let me tell you one thing, there are some things you can try, so let's just get into it. So for example, you can go to your dialer and just hold down on the number one to like call the voicemail and you might be required to like type in your password or like give it in, but like a lot of people just forget about it and if this is the case if you're like not able to access it like your phone works and you're just not able to access the voicemail chances are that the problem is with your carrier so what you will have to do is just to contact them which i wanted to say is like one of the most common things and like problem solving method like in case you have a problem with your uh, voicemail chances are that it's going to be something going on with the carrier but even if not you can still go ahead and play around with the settings so before you contact anyone you can literally go to the phone app and just go in here and just play around with the voicemail for example you might turn may, might have the option turn off for live voicemail so perhaps your problem is that you cannot see and read the live transcript transcript of the incoming voicemail perhaps something else may be going on so it really depends on what the problem is but as i say a lot of times more often than not you will have to contact the support of your carrier so literally just go to safari type in t-mobile support or whatever carrier you have and just get in touch with them to have them like reset your password for voicemail or just make sure that you have it like set up properly and that everything works because your iphone and the settings are like very limited there isn't much which you can do on the iphone really what you could do however which is like a common way to address any of the issues that you have going on with your phone is to just update to the latest version of the iOS. As you can see, I haven't updated in a while. So it is possible that an update like this will fix some of the potential issues. Like it is usually the case because you can, of course, like uh, you can update any third party app. You can go to the app store and like update your social media apps and whatever. But how do you update your phone app? Well, you don't. You have to do it through the software update. So this is why I stress the importance of updating the entire iOS to get the latest of everything. And yeah, by this, we are getting close to the end of this video. Hope you found this useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out until then.